Lift up your voice to your husband and your redeemer. We worship you, we worship you. He deserves to hear something from you this evening. Give him the praise and honor. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Nobody else deserves it. No one. and a lot of work for you to do. I want you to walk in righteous and holiness that my spirit will abound in you. I have not called you for anything. I call you for a purpose and a reason. In your walking, in your sleeping, in your going out, in your coming in, my hands is upon you. So I want you to avail yourself. And I'm going to use you for, this, for the church as the years goes on. If you don't set yourself apart, you will never see my glory. I'm, I'm talking to you today that you will be humble. Whatever your leaders and the pastors and the priests will give it to you. You will receive it with power. You receive it with humbleness. You receive it with obedience. I want you to walk in my word. And I want you to read in my word. And I want you to sleep in the word. The word itself is going to lead you. The word itself is going to move you. I am coming. Theme song. May Pastor Jehu and Elder Murray also join him. Christ in you. Amen. We are singing Jesus friend of my soul. Jesus friend of my soul. In the conference brochure, page 13. Page 13. We'll try to learn it so that those of you who don't know how to sing, by the time we leave this conference, you should know how to sing the song. Jesus, friend of my soul. We'll try to run through once. Before we stand to sing it, we'll try to run through once so we all get it. If we, Oh, very good. Jesus, friend of my soul, draws me close to
chance to receive it. But you and I, today we have received the word, obeyed the word, that is why we bear much fruit. So I want you to understand that it is such of importance to receive the word. At this time, with great honor, I want to call upon the podium, Reverend Michael Potterfield, give us the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. I want to get a better amen from the house tonight. A better amen from the house tonight. No, this is not enough. A better amen from the house tonight. That is still not enough. A better amen in the house tonight. A better amen in the house tonight. In Psalm 47 verse 5 it says, God is gone up with a shout. Shouts are acceptable in scripture. Yes. And I want to hear somebody shout a big hallelujah to the king of kings. Come on, rise up on your feet and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on, make a joyful noise. Now, Western region, are you in the house? God is coming up with a shout. Your God is coming up with a shout. In the house of his parents, because there is love and because perfect love casts out fear so as I was sitting down the Lord ministered to my heart and said these are your fathers you are a child and as a son feels confident and takes his liberties in his parents house so take your liberties and so with all love and humility and a deep sense of respect for my fathers in the house Tonight, I'm going to take my liberties and let the Lord bless the house. Because I love them and I know they love me. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I'm going to bring us the word of God very briefly on the theme, defining the one you worship in a world of 
plurality. Defining the one you worship in a world of plurality. And the song that Pastor said led, the theme song for the Church of Pentecost worldwide, is indeed a blessing to this great church. If I really meet you, I will worship you in truth. Oh, worship you in 